And of course, you clicked on this video because we're talking about the top three teams to look out for in the 2025 season. And this might be a wild pick to y'all, but I'm saying the Detroit Pistons, and man, I think they have a good squad, realistically, with Asar Thompson, Kay Cunningham, Jaden Ivey, uh, Killian Hayes suck. Um, but like, imagine Killian Hayes like starts playing well you know what if james wiseman starts playing like the number one pick what if marvin bagley starts going crazy like we saw little moments of what if it all comes together led by Cade cunningham Jaden ivy jalen duran don't forget jalen duran's a bucket that boy will that boy will drop 50 on your ass this team got depth got defense got a little bit of shooting all they need is to come together. They need to be like, all right, bro, I'm not trying to be a star. I'm not trying. I'm gonna. I'm here for this team. The bad boy Pistons could come back. If these guys all stop playing like, yo, I'm trying to drop 50, and they start playing like, I'm trying to win a basketball game, y'all better be fucking scared of this team. And I'm not a Detroit Pistons fan. But looking at the roster, you cannot say it's a terrible-ass roster. I mean, I think they picked up Boban Bandanovich, however you fucking you say his name, right? He's like a 38-year-old, 34, 35, whoever. He's ancient. That boy's a shooter, right? I mean, and he didn't get no minutes, but, like, I, I don't know if they were tanking. But if they were, they only ended up with, like, the number four or six pick. So, like, you're tanking for what? You're tanking to get nobody. And the person that they're going to draft this year is like a six, seven tall, lengthy shooter, which I think would be nice for them. Um, you know, running. I don't know if it, he would be a starter. You know, I feel like maybe he could play power forward. You could run, you know, whatever. But next team we got to get into, man, is the New York motherfucking Knicks. Everybody know this team is good, but I'm saying these guys would have won the NBA championship this year if it wasn't for injuries. They didn't have a single healthy body. You had to fucking have Dante DiVincenzo fucking drop like 37 in that elimination game against the fucking Pacers. And they like, come on, bro. You asking me, you telling me that if Julius Randle's healthy, Josh Hart's healthy, all these players are healthy, man, with the leadership of Jalen Brunson, which I'm going to have a video on in a little bit. you telling me these guys aren't the Celtics destroyers. I mean, I know Isaiah Hartenstein might not, but you, you got to think about it, though. Chris Tapp's Porzingis was injured during the playoffs. So they would have had a nice big man. Celtics were lacking in that position. Knicks, fully healthy, would have dogged on him. Julius Randle, I'm sorry, but he is cooking Kobe White, Drew Holiday. I don't care how good their defense is. Drew Holiday is fast, athletic, and that boy's pulling up from 40 goddamn motherfucking feet. Okay? I'm sorry, but Kai just wasn't on his game. And Luka is too, too slow. He gets to where he wants to go, but he's too slow for Drew Holiday, man. Drew Holiday is going to clean and clamp that up. I'm sorry. It just is what it is, but... Julian, Julie, who Jalen Brunson is his probably his kryptonite. You got Josh Hart on the wing. You got Dante DiVincenzo off the bench. Like, come on, bro, come on, my man. And you got Mitch Robb and Isaiah Hartenstein. This team was making the finals this year if they were healthy, and they would win the fucking finals. They would blow the Mavs out, fucking four zero, not a fucking four one. None of that bullshit. None of that. Nada. The Knicks are a tough-ass team. Y'all need to be watching them this season because they're going to do great fucking things this season. Guaranteed. Um, I'm guaranteeing. I'm, I'm saying one seed. I'm saying one seed, best team in the league. That's how confident I am because Miami's gone. Celtics, they're going to be they're gonna be hyped after the championship. They're going to want to go take it back, but the Knicks going to be ready, bro. The Bucks going to be ready to take the bu- to Celtics spot, bro. I say it's going to be Bucks. Bucks. Pacers are tough. They had injuries. I mean, but I'm saying the best team in the East, and this might be just personal opinion, is the New York Knicks fully healthy. Looking at a roster, the depth they have. I know Celtics got great depth, and I might just be a Celtics hater, but I just like watching Jalen Brunson hoop, man. And who doesn't? That boy, I watched him hoop on the Mavs 2018, 2019 with him, Luka, and Tingus Pingus. It was a great team. 
great fucking team. I love seeing all the hype he's getting, and he he so very well deserves it. And this team is going to be a dynasty here soon, man. Because if other teams can't figure their shit out, I don't think the Celtics can hold him, man. Last but not least is Orlando Magic. I might only be saying this because we're getting my boy Clay Thompson from Rumors. But you got Gary Harris, Franz Wagner, you got Wendell Carter Jr., Jalen Suggs, Cole Anthony, Anthony Black, just depth from the fucking ages. Paolo Bancaro, you got depth from the fucking ages. These guys are only getting fucking, only getting older and better. They're going to get more wiser. Markel Fultz, when he's on the floor, even though he's been ridiculed with injuries, when he's on the floor, this team is a fucking contender, my brother. And there's nothing that you guys could say about it. This team knows what they're doing, and they're going to do that shit every time, man. And, I mean, you, I don't know why people were surprised that they made the playoffs this year. That they, they were, like, yeah, during the end of the season, they started taking some losses, falling down in the, in the seedings and shit like that. But, I mean, you can't say they didn't put up a fight. I mean, yeah, are they as good as is are they as good as the Cleveland Cavaliers? Are they as good as the Boston Celtics? No, but this team should be feared coming into this season because you can't just be like, oh, they're fucking tanking. That's the easy fucking win. Nah, Franz Wagner are gonna put LeBron on his fucking ass. Cole Anthony is fucking gonna be jumping out the fucking gym and you didn't even realize it. Paulo Bancaro is gonna give you fucking eighty and you're gonna fucking blink. It's it's a great fucking team, man. And there's nothing. There's nothing that's going to stop these boys. These boys is hungry. I mean, the, Jonathan Isaac, man, like everybody was talking shit about him. He came back on injury and he's playing well. I mean, that boy was winning DPOYs on my 2K league in 2K22 when that boy was injured. When I turned injuries off, he would come in the league and win DPOYs. He, he might be doing that now. I'm telling you, man, watch out for this team because this team's defense is, is actually fucking crazy. And offensive-wise, Paolo Bencaro gets it going, man. Gary Harris with that smooth ass jump shot. Wagner, he could do whatever the fuck he wants on the floor. He's like, he's like an Alpha and Sangoon, my brother. And Jonathan Isaac, he could throw it down. He he got a little three ball. I'm not gonna say a lot, but he got great defense. You got guard, you got guard rotations for days. Jalen Suggs, Cole Anthony, Markel Fultz. Anything you could fucking want in a basketball team the Orlando Magic have. This team. It's just, it's going to be a crazy sight to see this year. And I know I'm going to be in the military, but boy, if I see an Orlando Magic game on, I'm going to stop whatever I'm doing and, and watch some fucking Gary Harris gameplay and watch some fucking Cole Winton a gameplay because they fucking shit up, man. And Anthony Black, I don't know if, I think he was a rookie this year. I think he was a rookie this year. And he was hooping. He's only going to get better. Paul Ben Carroll's like, what, 21, 22? He's only going to get better. This team is going to get good. And all these old motherfucking teams like the goddamn Lakers and the goddamn Warriors and the goddamn Clippers are just going to start going away. And we're going to start team seeing teams like the Detroit Pistons, the New York Knicks, the fucking Orlando Magic. These three teams are going to be taking over the league real fucking soon. And y'all need to realize that. Otherwise, you're going to be a Warriors fan and they're going to have a fucking they're going to have 19 G League players on their roster. It's just, it's just it is what it is. When fucking Curry retires, Draymond Gets ejected for the 90 millionth time and they suspend him indefinitely. I, some shit happens, man. When LeBron, if I mean, LeBron might play until he's 50. I don't know. It depends. If his son can't find a team, he might unretire and he'd be like, oh, I'm going to play with my son. So I don't, I don't fucking know. So Lakers might probably be good as long as they keep LeBron. If they don't keep LeBron, ah, I don't think Anthony Davis can run a team. I mean, we've seen it in uh, uh, Pelicans with him and uh, I think it was the Marcus Cousins. Uh, but uh, other than that, man, he's like 34 now. So, I mean, but for the first time, he hasn't had injuries. But these three teams, man, these three teams, man. Let me know down in the comments if I, I forgot a team that's like, you're like, bro, this team's going to be good. But if you say the Washington Wizards, you're cooked.